How do you inscribe a perfect star in a circle? Hello everyone and welcome to PE Academy. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to inscribe a perfect star in a circle. So as you can see in the diagram below, we already have our circle drawn. Now this concept is very important. Maybe if you have a small space and you have to draw a perfect star inside that, within that circle or maybe for any reason whatsoever. But I can guarantee you that at the end of this video, you'll be able to inscribe a perfect star in a circle. So before we get into this video proper, if you are new to this channel or you are yet to subscribe to PA Academy, please take out time to subscribe to this channel. It's absolutely free. Just go ahead and click on that subscribe button. So, so by subscribing, it helps this channel to grow. And you can also click on the little bell icon beside the subscribe button so that you get notified whenever we release any video. Alright, so thank you very much if you have just done that. Alright, so now the concept of inscribing a star in a circle it, uh, what i'm going to be doing in this video it works for any circle either how big or small no matter how big or how small the circle is the steps are still the same thing so what we are going to do now is that now that we have our circle what we have to do is to divide the circle into five equal parts to five equal parts and remember if you have a circle we have a circle the total angle there is 360 degree that's the at the point 360 degrees so if you have to divide it into five that'll be 360 divided by five so that will give us 72 degrees so that means each part of the of that five uh, we are going to divide into five each part will be at 72 degrees that means it'll be at 72 degrees apart so for us to achieve that we are going to draw our radius so the radius we are going to be drawing we are going to be drawing with a faint line with a faint line so you can see this is a faint line so you bring in your protractor and you place it at the center of the circle so make sure you place it at the center and then this line is lying on the radius of the circle so once you have done that in clockwise direction you measure 72 degrees so this is 0 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 so then 70 this will be so you have to be careful make sure your protractor is not just moving or shaking around so 72 this will be 72 so you mark it now the next one is plus another 72 degree remember i said they are going to be at 72 degrees apart so the next 72 degree that will be 144 so you go ahead and mark 144 degrees now if you had to mark the next one it will be 216 but if you look at my protractor here it stops at 180 so what we are going to do at this stage is you just your protractor just make just turn it like this and then you still place it at the center but if your protractor is up to 360 degrees then you can go ahead and then in, add 72 and 72 again so now once it is properly set you in this anti-clockwise direction now 72 degrees so this is 70 71 72 so plus another 72 that will be 144 so this is 140 remember this is 120 130 140 so 144 will be here so now we already note those four points so this is we've noted the four points this 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 and this now we also note this point where the radius is touching the circumference of the circle let's call this point a let's call it point a now okay we can start from let's start from this point now from the center of the circle yeah you are going to place your ruler to be in line with the 72 degree mark this point here yeah where we mark our 72 degrees here yeah. so you are going to make sure that they are, they are in line so you are not you are going to draw any any line but make sure that they are in line and then you trace it to where is to the circumference of the circle so you note it so that means if you have to draw a line let me just okay let me just draw a line so if you have to draw a line where this line is touching the circumference of the circle so you note it so you can choose not to draw the line but if you if you really want to go ahead to draw the line make sure you draw it with a faint line like you can see this one, the one i'm having here you can barely see it so now let's repeat the same thing here so from the center of the circle to here where we have where we have this mark that is the 144 degrees if you have to take it from from this center from here like this so from the center to this point this time around i won't be drawing the line so but make sure that they are on the straight line then you mark it on the circumference of the circle so this point we marked earlier let's call it point b let's call this point c so this is the next one we are going to do the same thing from the center you make sure that they are in line and then you mark it on the circumference of the circle so let's call it point d and then the last one a 
and then this will be let's let's give the point e so now we already have these five points on the center of the circle now the next thing is so starting from point a so I, you can start from any of the points either a b c d or e but we're starting from point a now from point a i'm going to move in clockwise direction now so from point a you are going to skip point b and draw a line to point c so that means from point a we are going to draw a line to point c skipping that of b so you can see we, come, we have five points don't forget a b c d and e so now we ask from a we skip this b and we draw a line to c so the line we are going to be drawing is going to be a faint line so make sure you draw it with a faint line now as a thin line i hope you can still see this a bit now from point c where we you know this this line from a to c so from point c you are going to skip point d and draw a line to point e So if you are already finding value in this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget with a with a thin line. So a thin line. Then from point E, you skip point A and draw a line to point B. So now from point B, you are going to skip point C and draw a line to point D. I hope you've gotten this concept. If you have, do let me know in the comment section below. Still with faint line. And now that we're on point D, from point D, you are going to skip point E and draw a line to point A. So if you and if you so if you at this point now you you, you will be seeing what that you already have your star. But now let's now bring out the star so that the star will be bold enough to show that we've really inscribed it in a circle. Now there are some intersections that I want you to note. So for example, the, this point of intersection here, the one here, so you see it on your drawing, it's, looking, it's not looking too clear here. That's because I'm using faint lines, which is what you are supposed to use anyway. So let me just call it, um, let me just call this point one, point two, looking below okay then this is point three four and then five so now what we want to do here is now from this point one i'm going to draw a line from point one to point a so from point one to point b these lines are going to be bold so with that that means we are going to be bringing out our star so from point one to point b so as you can see, so from this point two, we are going to draw a line from point two to point B, from point two to point C. Make sure they are bold. So these are the ones, the lines that you are going to be making bold. So what I've done here, I'm going to repeat the same thing from point three, four, and five. So just follow along. So from point three to point C, yeah, from point three to point D. So you continue in that order. So now from point four to point D. From point four to point E. Then from point five to point E. And then from point five to point A. So this is how you go ahead to inscribe a perfect star in a circle. So if you have any question or any comment with regards to this video, do let me know in the comment section below. And if you find value in this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to this channel if you are yet to. And in the description of this video, I'll be leaving some other uh, similar videos like how to draw 5-pointed star, 6-pointed star, 7, 8, 9-pointed star. And also how to inscribe a perfect star in a pentagon and so on. So do make sure you check out the description of this video. So with that, I'll see you all in another video. Thank you.